हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ऑटोमेशन टॉक्स डॉट कॉम मैं सेल प्रकाश नारखड़े इन दिस वीडियो ऑफ सेलेनियम वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज आई विल टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू सेलेक्ट मल्टीपल चेक बॉक्सेस इन सेलेनियम वेब ड्राइव सो दिस इज वीडियो ट्वेंटी फोर अर्लियर टू दिस वीडियो आई टॉक मच अबाउट सेलेनियम वेब ड्राइव यू कैन फाइंड इट ऑन माई ब्लॉग ऑटोमेशन टॉक्स डॉट कॉम सेलेनियम ट्यूटोरियल सेलेनियम वेब ड्राइव एंड हेयर यू कैन फाइंड इट वन बाई वन राइट सो today i'll talk about selecting multiple check boxes in selenium fine so now like how multiple check boxes look so you can see one screenshots over here so this is check box a square box multiple square box right so you we can select multiple mul multiple buttons from this so let us see one example so i have one website where they have this uh, check box example so just let me go to that i'll show you okay so here you can find uh, my favorite colors are and these are the check boxes we can select multiple check boxes from this right so i'll show you how to select multiple check boxes from this um uh, list of check boxes fine now if you try and uh, debug this you can find this is input tag having name is equal to color and value is equal to red now if you come to second one again it has name is equal to color value is equal to yellow right and type is checkbox means there are few thing common like name is common and checkbox is common right so if i am doing uh, if i am doing find elements let us say uh, if i am doing find elements with name is equal to color then can you see six matching nodes are found that is this things right and uh, this means if i want to get this uh, number of check boxes into a list what i can do is i can use this x path right even i guess i should be able to use this type is equal to check boxes until and unless there are only this six check boxes present can you see again six check boxes or uh, six matching nodes that means this one 1 2 3 4 5 6 so if i want to get these uh, check boxes into a web list i can use this x path or the previous one right so let's see let me create new class check box okay and let me create one test case within it check box test okay and uh, now let me copy the one uh, which i used to launch chrome and navigate okay not this okay it is in the radio buttons let me get this fine now by using this lines of code i am setting my web browser to chrome i am navigating to this url i am maximizing the window and i am i have wrote it uh, implicit way to achieve synchronization now i want to navigate to this website so i'll just change the website fine now what i want to do is okay and i'll convert this as a test ng test fine now what i want to do is i want to get these things into a list so i'll create a list list of web elements checklist is equal to driver dot find elements by this is x path and this x path right so let me import this 
java.utils and web element from selenium so if i print the size of this checklist number of checkboxes present on web page is right so this statement will print how many number of checkboxes are present on the um, web page right now let us say if I want to select checkbox blue and red so how I can do that or let us say I want to select only a checkbox red uh, string uh, check to be selected is equal to red let us say I want to select red then in the similar way how I did in my last tutorial for this radio buttons right what we can do in this list now I got the list of all these six radio uh, sorry uh, check boxes so what I'll do I will iterate over this list one by one and I will check okay if my mm, color is red then check it if my color is purple then check it likewise right okay instead of red I'll check I'll use purple because it is the last one fine now I want to iterate it over the list using for loop for int i is equal to 0 i is less than checklist dot size and i plus plus i will iterate it how many number of times checklist dot size that is size of the uh, checklist that is number of checklist uh, number of uh, check boxes present on uh, web page right so what i'll do i'll iterate it those many times so how to select if what if the web element is red right so how we can do that if we will get it from list so if checklist dot get the element which element first is or zeroth element that is i because i is zero for first case dot get attribute we, we will get it by attribute and what attribute value right because the value is provided as a read so we will get it with value right and if it is equal to purple if it is equal to purple and purple is check to be selected right if it is equal then click on checklist dot get i dot click right so this is pretty simple i i i i got this number of checklist present in this list list of web elements in checklist so I'm, I'm iterating over this checklist till checklist dot size so I'm getting the first element let us say first iteration I'll get checklist dot get I get I means that will be red so red and get the attribute value of this checkbox which will be a red so if red is equal to check to be selected purple no it will not go here second time it will come to allow it will check again it will not come so it will continue till purple and we will break this right now let us try running this it should select purple Let us launch the Chrome browser. Now it will navigate to the URL which we have mentioned. It is navigating. It will maximize the window now. Fine. Now it should have checked the box. No. Let 
let us check for the error of failure oh no what is the reason for failure let us check unknown error element is not clickable at the point element is not clickable at the point okay let's check what's the issue fine okay so whenever we open the page it will be here but our okay so i think there should be a scroll issue let us check by doing scroll because whenever the page opens uh, it will look like this but to click on the checkboxes it should be scrolled to here right so what we'll do we will scroll till here right so let me take xpath of this and what we will do we will do a scroll till web element let me find web element okay we, we should do it here what we are doing is we are scrolling up to checkboxes because they are hidden they are they are not visible not hidden they are not visible on the screen until and unless we do scroll right so what i'll do i'll find web element web element element is equal to driver dot find element by xpath what is happening by xpath this fine so what i got is now i got this element and i want to scroll up to this element right so what i want to use i should use a javascript here javascript executor right so let us see how we can do that java javascript executor but since it is an interface since it is an interface we cannot create object of it right so instead of creating object we should cast it right so let us see how we can so we should cast it to a driver right so give it in a bracket and cast it with a driver okay one more syntax fine so with driver what we want to do is our execute is not visible okay okay this should be in bracket again dot execute as a script right so this is how we can execute a script and there is some script and there should be some argument right so this script you need to memorize right so for scrolling down the script is argument dot zero dot scroll to view and where we want to scroll we want to scroll up to element right so this is how javascript executor work right so it will scroll till this element right by using javascript now let me try this it should select a purple color purple color now now the page is open maximized Okay, there is some error in our javascript let us try again what it is saying unknown error argument 0 dot scroll view is not a function okay okay it wasn't saved i guess because it was highlighting this element let me run this again okay it, it has maximized and can you see it has scrolled and it has selected purple right so it was not selecting because the area which we wanted to interact with was not visible on the screen right so that is how we can select a checkbox right using selenium web driver and i have shown you a small example of javascript executor to scroll down till view scroll into view and the view will be identified by using a web element where you want to scroll 
Fine, so I think that's it I have for this video. I have to select multiple checkboxes in Selenium Web Driver. So if you want to select a multiple checkboxes, then what you can do is you can add a multiple conditions. If it is red, then click. If it is blue, then click. If it is green, then click. Right. So you can add a similar checks like this using in this if statement. Right for multiple. So that's it I have for this video. For more videos referring my blog automation talks.com do subscribe to my youtube channel thanks